video sponsored by Maple Movers. No minimum order, no subscriptions. Free shipping on every item, every day at MeepleMovers.com. Hello and welcome to Brian's Got Game. I'm Brian. Today I've got a game called Princess Jing. Princess Jing is a two-player bluffing game designed by Roberto Fraga and published by Madigo. In this game, players are trying to be the first to guide their princess to the other side of the city. Each princess has a few helpers, her maid and a magic mirror. The maid just looks like the princess, which can throw your opponent off your trail. And the magic mirror has a mirror, which allows you to peek at your opponent's side of the screens. If you capture the other princess, she has to go back to her side, and you get another turn, which can be the difference between winning and losing. But if you're wrong, you lose your next turn. So, let's check it out, and I'll show you how to spy on your opponent, how to set up and play the advanced mode, and how to bluff your way to the, prin the city wall in... Princess Jing. To set up the basic game, or princesses run away, uh, first I'm, uh, we're going to take these um, pieces. Uh, they're blank on both sides, and we're going to place. And so we're going to take five screens and put them across the center. Um, that's the same for both setups. And then this is where it's a little different. We're going to make a row on each side also with blank screens. So all of these screens are blank on both sides. So now, then, each player is going to take a mirror guy of each of their color. Um, so it's a little guy with a mirror on it. So then, um, for instance, you put it here, you can kind of see there and see what's on the other side. So you could see whether or not there's a mirror guy there. Uh, I guess I could try to demonstrate this up here. Got the mirror guy and this guy. All right, so you... Um, it's just used to see. So each player will take one of those. Uh, this is going to be the red side. This is the green side. Each uh, each player will also take a princess. So uh, they look like that. They have red and green robes, and they have flowers in their hair. No hood. And then the maid. So it looks exactly like it. With the hood's up and no flowers in the hair because you can't see it. So it's also the same. Red, green. And then each player will take two empty screens. So then, they're going to take them, mix them up however they want, and then place them on the board however they want to. That, and then the maid here. So the maid can kind of confuse your opponent to make it look like they got the princess, but they just didn't get a good look at it. Then, each player will also take a captain, and the other player, uh, this is the red, so you take the opposite color and you're going to put it in the center one. And the green one goes on the other side. So green's going to green, and red is going to red. You are now ready to begin. So on your turn, you move a screen, which is really swapping screens, and optional, you may point at another screen and say Princess Jing, but we're going to talk about that in a second. So uh, uh, first, there are several ways to move your screens. You can do it orthogonally, or uh, let's go with this guy, or you can do it diagonally. Diagonally. Um, so then uh, you're going to just continue doing that, and the goal of the game is to get your princess to the other side. So, in, um, to the other side in front of the other captain. So you're tr you are trying to get um, this one here. And then you reveal it, and then that player wins. Now, um, at this point, we have two mirrors facing each other, so both players know that the other player's mirror is there. So um, something else you can do is, if somebody sees your thing, you can take your turn and say, um, I'm going to withdraw. And you can do that with either your princess or your mirror guy. So um, as an action, I could say, uh, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to swap it with one of the empty screens over here. Now me, being the player, I don't know what the empty screens are. So I have to close my eyes, and they choose one. Let's take this one, swap it there. And now I know that this is empty, and one of these is the mirror guy. And you're just going to continue moving until one player... Actually, let's talk about this. So this is the uh, guy. So if you uh, look through there, if possible, see the princess right there possibly um, now if at that point you can so you can see it so let's say it was here and you saw it there, she's trying to get there um, you can on one of your turns you can point to it and say princess Jean so at that point you have to do basically the withdraw action if you are correct then you um, the other player does the withdraw action they take it back you close your eyes during all the withdrawals you close your eyes and then we swap it with one so then you don't know what it is now if they are wrong, then the other uh, player gets two actions. Um, so then I can go one, two, and I win. 
So the first player to get their um, their princess to their captain wins. So now I'm going to show you the uh, more advanced game. It's called the Legendary Animals. So we're going to start with the original setup with all empty screens across the center, and then each player takes their maid, their mirror holder, and uh, maid print. So the, their maid, their mirror holder, and the princess. Now also they get another mirror holder. So I'm going to put that here. So now I have two mirror holders, a maid and a princess, and then the same is going to be for red. So let me grab mirror holder. So now both players have two mirror holders. So we're going to take those back here. Now we're also going to bring in two more captains, and I'm going to explain why in a second. So now we have three captains, and then you can group them however you want um, for the other players. So you get to group your own. So we're going to group it like that. Um, three and then three all in one side. You will also get three of these um, cardboard pieces, and you're going to shuffle them. This is your secret objective, so you're going to draw it, look at it, and don't show the other player. So on here we have the three different guys. You've got the skinny guy, you've got the the tall guy, and then the hair guy. Um, so and then we have these different combinations of animals. So uh, this player is going to take three screens, and they're going no, they're going to take two screens, and they're going to pick two of these three animals. So um, if I picked the fox and the crane, and I put them on here, you'll have to use your mirror guys to find out what animals I picked. Once you found the fox, you know it's either the hair guy or the tall, uh, the skinny guy. And if you, once you find the crane, you'll know it's the skinny guy, so then you have to go to the skinny guy. So um, I'm going to take this back, and I'm going to pick two of the guys. And then um, this is secret, so I don't know what that is. And then I will do the same. I'm going to drop one of these. And then you will also pick two random animals. So we're going to go with these two. Put one in there, and one in here. So once you have your six special uh, ones, you also take six special and four blank. So you should have kind of a lineup like that. So now, using the same rules as, uh, so you're going to have two of these unused, and your two cards unused. I mean, one of these two cards. So, so as with the original uh, version, the princess and the maid have to be on the first row. But the animals and mirrors can be mixed throughout. So I'm going to set up mine real quick. So we're going to go here, 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 and here. And then of course you can always swap these and they'll never know. So then the uh, same thing begins. And I also forgot the first player is the youngest player. So uh, uh, let's go under the assumption that I am younger than you are. So um, I will go first, and I'm going to move these two. And then the game proceeds exactly as before, only now you are using your mirror guys to try to look at these animals. So if you could look through here, we're going to flip it around, it's a fox. So now you know that it's either fat or skinny, hair or skinny. So um, And then once you find my other animal, which is the owl. Um, using these mirror guys, uh, you know that it's the hare, and you have to go for this guy. After that point where you know what your guy is, and you get your princess in front of the guy, you reveal it, and you win. That's how to play Princess Jing. Okay, I've got my dad here for a parent's opinion. So dad, what do you think of Princess Jing? I was pleasantly surprised with Princess Jing. Um, when I first saw it, I thought, hey, that looks kind of like Stratego, uh, <laughs> which I have never really played. Uh, I actually have played Stratego. <laughs> um, it's two players, which we play a lot of two-player games. And once I kind of learned the, the easy mode, um, the advanced mode is really what sold me on this. Yeah. So um, the easy mode is more like playing with the kids, so it uh, lowers the age um, level. It says 8 and up. You could probably play it with... 
Yeah, I, I, really, all you're doing is swapping, <laughs> swap things, swapping your guys, and you know, trying to. Something I did make a mistake them. was I lost track of the princess, even though I knew where she was. I was gonna wait till she was close enough and point her out, force her back on easy mode. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, but I knew where she was, but I lost track. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the game. <laughs> um, I that did happen to me. Uh, so components, um. We got our copy um, at BGG Springs, so I don't know if the pieces come pre-assembled. Do you know? Uh, no, yeah, I think you got to punch them all. Punch it and build it? Yeah. Nice. Because it says at the beginning of the instructions how to assemble it, I think. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so you take the little plastic thing, you stick the two sides in, and then the top. Yeah, so there's a lot of pieces. There is. So um, I think there's 25 screens. 25 screens. There are four mirror guys. There are six guards. Um six uh, animals three for each player mm -hmm. um there's the really awesome board which i'll talk about in a second um and then so the the, the maids and the princesses the box actually has spots for the screens which is already really assembled cool. so you don't have to put those together yeah every time yeah so once you build it you, you, they just go right back in and it looks really cool um and then that's it uh, so I have all the pieces. So um, artwork, the artwork on the screens is cool. Like the back of it, you can definitely tell what, what's there, what's isn't. Um, it's got a cool like mountain scenery with trees, and it looks really cool. Uh, Japanese art. Um, and then you've got like the cartoony uh, guys and people, and then you've got like a kind of like a background cartoon like uh, board. Not cartoony, but like not super realistic, which yeah. I really, really like that. They did a really, really good job with the art in this game. Uh, the characters look really cool. The animals look awesome. Everything about the artwork in this game is really over the top. It's yeah, awesome. Um, uh, I mean, that's kind of something that comes out of all French publishers now, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, they're really pushing the envelope, um, and they have a lot of talent over there. Yeah. Um, and so this is another example of just that. that they did a really good job with the artwork. Definitely. Um, <clears throat> so strategy, um, this is a very, this is a strategic game. Um, <laughs> that's, that's what it is. You're swapping pieces. Um, it is technically a bluffing game. You're trying to trick the other player by moving stuff. Um, something that's good is charge your princess up the side or kind of move her diagonally. Yeah, there's lots and of you different You can do basically anything do. in this game. Uh, so stra strategy 10 out of 10 on strategy because it's a strategy game there's nothing else um yeah but when i when i played the base game i did play it with uh first grader uh and and yet yeah, to me it was just you know pretty boring because you just try to get your princess the other side princess is there princess it, it wasn't there. until you and i learned the advanced mode that i was like whoa this is awesome uh, because you have to go find the two animals mm -hmm. that the other person selects so you know which commander or, or mm -hmm. sergeant or you know what a guard to go yeah. stand in front of and so that you know brings in a lot of strategy of where do i put my animals you know do i move my animals mm -hmm. uh do i keep my guys kind of in the center which means you start moving my guys um and oh by the way now there's two mirrors in there <laughs> and so uh yeah. yeah there's just a lot going on there is and it's rare that we say let's play again um immediately after finishing a game and i think you did that like two or three times three. i said it three times i only won one out of the what four no i won two i won two out of the four games we played the first yeah the I, first, I won the first four games out of four no it was two and two right no no i won one out of four so we played the easy mode and then i think we, we might have played easy mode again but i won the first time we played the advanced mode and then you cut on and beat me yeah. twice in a row. <laughs> um so easy for kids, yeah, the first version is super easy, and then um, the advanced version is really where it gets fun, and um, you could definitely play it with the younger, not the same as the easy version, though. Yeah, but um, Aiden and Lincoln like to play just the easy mode, just the two of them, so this could yeah. be a kid kid's game for just kids to play. Yeah. Um, and they would have a blast you know, playing the easy mode. Yeah. So this is also, since this is a very high uh, strategy game, it's good to work with um, same like mine level, age levels, yeah. a, a, age mine level of playing. Yeah, and it says you got to look through the little hole to see the mirror. That's kind of obvious. You're like, <laughs> you don't, you don't have to do that. Um, I also will say that you need to be careful to grab. You didn't say this in your how to. Oh to yeah. Kind of grab the screen grab. in the hole, the center yeah. hole. Um, 
You have one? Yeah, like so. So uh, you don't like my, grab a mirror. What happened once is I grabbed a mirror on accident. Oh, uh, what a convenient. <laughs> I randomly grabbed one I had a mirror on. So you don't like, oh, there's a mirror there. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Grab, you know, grab it like that. Mm -hmm. But um, and then also we and were then, playing. Yeah. So we were playing clear during the daytime. Yeah, on the other side of the other wall, there's a window, and the sun came in, and I was on the side like this. So this was kind of at an angle to the board. It was like this, and it hit the mirror and shone light on the this on the diagonal, diagonal piece. So I always knew where your guy. So he was. knew where my mirror guy was <laughs> Maybe that's because why I won because he he could see the <laughs> little glow of where the mirror guy was. Uh, but no, this is, we had a blast. Roberto Fraga is becoming one of our favorite designers. We um, we've got a lot Pingo of, Pingo down there. We've got a lot of his games. Um, and, and Matigo um, is starting to distribute some mm -hmm. of their game, more of their games here in the United States. So that's yeah. also very cool. Yep. Um, so. Yeah, overall, Princess Jing was really awesome. The components are over the top and the artwork is right there with it. Um, the strategy, it's of course, it's a very strategic game, and it's easy for kids. They hit all of our main metrics yeah. uh, metrics for uh, rating the art. Uh, well, yeah, rating, reviewing these games is that this had pretty much perfect scores in everything that we uh, talk about. Yeah, this one's going to come out pretty soon um, at Gen Con 2018. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're def if you're at Gen Con, go check this one yeah. out. Um, that's that's one of their Gen Con releases. Mm -hmm. So yeah, completely like. Perfect by our standards. This game was awesome. I don't know if you 100% agree with me, but I could sit here right now, play the game <laughs> until four in the morning. Yeah, it, it's a good. Well, I don't know about four in the morning. I guess it depends on what time it is. But. Yeah. So uh, thank you for watching Brian's Got Game. Please like us on our Facebook page. Send us a tweet at Brian's Got Game. Visit our webpage Brian's Got Game .com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Brian. This is my dad. See you next time.